What's going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So in today's video, we actually are going to be installing some cedar plank on top of this popcorn ceiling here to cover it up. So this homeowner has went through their entire house and scraped a lot of the popcorn, but in their dining room here, they decided they want to do something a little bit different. And I think it's going to look super nice when we get done with it, but we're going to go through all the steps for you to be able to install a cedar plank ceiling in any room in your house as well. We'll go through how to mark the studs, how to get the planks up in there. We'll see if we have any trouble actually installing the tongue and groove with the popcorn hanging down a little bit. So that'll be something that's gonna be interesting once we get started. But overall, I think the project's gonna go super smooth and we're gonna have a good time doing it. So with that, we're gonna to get to work. All right guys, so your first step whenever you're installing these cedar plank boards is to go ahead and go across the ceiling either with a stud finder or with just your knuckle and try to find where all of the joists are running across the ceiling because you're gonna need those floor joists to actually hold the nail to give it enough support to keep that cedar plank up on the ceiling. The other thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're installing these boards that you can't see on camera is go ahead and put a little bit of liquid nails or some kind of construction adhesive on the back of the boards so that whenever you're pushing them up onto the ceiling and you're shooting them in, you know you just have that little bit extra security to keep the boards up. And also with that popcorn ceiling, it kind of gives just a little bit of a buffer. So whenever you're pushing that glue up onto the ceiling, you can kind of squish it up in there into the grooves of the popcorn and really just give it a solid bond to that ceiling. So you can see right here, we got in a groove installing the installing the planks just like you would install hardwood floors or LVP floors and you just go across cut off your end whatever end you have left go ahead and start the next row with it and then just keep on making your path with cut boards full boards cut boards whatever your pattern ends up being so one thing we ended up finding out is when you get a stretch of a full eight foot board it takes a little bit of work to get it in place but once you drop it in that groove and you give it a little love tap it usually falls right in place and you can shoot your nails up pretty easy. One thing we did learn the farther we got across this ceiling is anywhere there is a nail, you'll kind of get just a little bit of bow in the tongue because these boards were not super thick. So what we ended up learning was anywhere there was a nail, if we kind of flex that board up into the up into the tongue, we could get the tongue to fall into the groove a little bit easier right there as well. And again, just give it a little love tap to give it to get it pushed in but you have to be super gentle on these boards that we use because again, they were so thin that we did run into some issues where we were snapping the tongues off a little bit. And ultimately that's not a huge deal on a ceiling because it's not gonna fall apart and the nails are gonna hold it all together. But you still don't wanna go breaking the tongue off where it makes it harder to get that next piece worked in place and then shot up with the nails. So there are really no secrets to this job. As you can see, you pretty much just cut, lay the boards, put the nails up, and just keep on rolling. So at the end of this video, you're gonna see a little bit of how we finish it, but I wasn't able to get all of the trim videoed because all of my batteries died by the end of this video. But what you'll see is how we put in the very last row. What you'll either need is a table saw or a circular saw that you can go ahead and rip down the boards just to hit that very last line. And we chose to put it right here on the inside of the dining room because as you walk into the dining room you're typically going to be looking towards the window on the other side of the room you're not going to be looking straight above your head to see that final cut shorter piece of wood so it ended up coming out really nice and for the trim on this we just went with a simple quarter round around the outside of it shot it up in there and just laid a little caulk down to fill all the nail holes and it really cleaned up the look super nice and these guys were awesome to work for and you can see the homeowner actually came in and went ahead and put up their new light fixture that they got for the room and overall we were super satisfied with the job the clients loved it even their neighbors came over and took a look at it and we're actually going to be doing some work for them so awesome word of mouth advertising right there that we that we could not be more proud of but with that i don't have an actual outro for the video so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you learned something from checking out this video if you have any questions please be sure to leave them in the comment section because I will be sure to get back to you and help you with any way that I can. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please be sure to hit that like button to help spread this video through other people on YouTube 
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a ton more do-it-yourself and how-to content coming out. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.